Hi everyone, welcome back to Headwaters Homestead. I am so excited today to share with you guys my thrift haul from this morning at our local thrift store. This is the best thrift haul I've had to date. Um, so many unique things, so many things that um, so many people passed over um, and I grabbed them up because I thought, you know what, those look pretty cool. So I was doing some reverse Google search images and I found um, a lot of these items online. A lot of things that I found were um, pretty pricey and I paid anywhere between 30 cents to a dollar for most of these items. So I'm very excited to, um, to share this with you guys and let's just jump into it and take a look. So many good things that I found today. <laughs> oh Lord, where do we even start? Okay, let's just take a look at some stuff here. This um, baking dish is uh, Dr. Douglas Wonder Baker. And it's pretty solid, heavy duty. I love the way it looks. It was only $2. Um, I found a comp online for that for I think 20 or $30 for that same dish. Um, let's just jump right into my favorite here. This uh, milk glass nesting hen. She's pretty crummy, she needs cleaned up. She was $10, but she's gonna go with my collection. Uh, so far I have an amber glass and a green um, nesting hen. So I loved her, I found her and I grabbed her up. Um, I think somebody must have donated a bunch of things from the same household because a lot of these items were very similar, like all these little, um, I don't know, gravy boats and creamer cups and things like that. They were all very similar and all in like the same little area. There's a set of three measuring cups. I thought those were super sweet. <clears throat> this gravy boat with the attached plate Oh, what does it say? Bellcrest, I believe it is. I paid 50 cents for this. I found a comp online for up to $80. I don't believe it's the exact same one, but with the other comps, I think that dish itself is worth anywhere between $40 and $50. There's a nice heavy-duty crock that I paid $4 for. That is uh, Roseville, USA. That thing is super heavy. Um, this is another unknown. Um, I found a comp online for this teapot with the same top, the same twisted handle. There's no markings on the bottom. There's nothing at all. I found a comp that's similar. Um, like I said, same top, same twisted handle, a little bit of a different design for $2,000. It's like a Ming Dynasty um, tea kettle. It's not the exact same. I got to look into it a little bit more, but shoot, if that thing's worth $2,000, oh my gosh. I paid, um, what did I pay for this? I think a dollar. Yeah, I paid a dollar for that tea kettle. <clears throat> so I need to look into that a little bit more just to see if that is accurate. Okay, moving on, I found, um, this NASCO vintage hand-painted pitcher with five cups. How adorable are those? All hand-painted. I paid 30 cents a piece for the cups and I believe 50, yeah, 50 cents for the pitcher. Um, I found some online anywhere between 16 and $42 for the set. I believe the original set had six cups, but this one only had five with it. So again, for 30 cents a piece for the cups, a dollar for the pitcher, I mean, you can't beat it. Um, this also was an excellent find. This Mariner pitcher, there were no markings on the bottom, but when I did the reverse Google search, I found the exact same one. It wasn't even like it was close. It was the exact same one. I'm looking at my cheat sheet here because I wrote everything down. Hang on one second. Oh, how much was that Mariner picture? I believe I paid two or three dollars for it. 
and it's worth $50. So that was a pretty, pretty awesome find. Some cute, um, I don't know, I think these were with the vases, but I might use them as cups. Those were 30 cents a piece. I didn't do any comps on those. Um, this soup mug. I found the exact same one online. I thought it was super cute with all the vegetables on it. Paid 30 cents for it. I found the exact same one online for $20, I believe. Let me double check that. Moving along, this vintage Edwin Knowles creamer with the flowers on it. This I paid 50 cents for. I found a comp online for uh, $12 to $15. Not too bad, but that is super cute. Again, all these light creamers and gravy boats and things like that, um, I paid anywhere between 30 cents and a dollar for each one. And each one has comps online for the exact same things that are anywhere between 20 and $30. Um, with the exception of this one I found for um, $12. But still, I mean, these things are pennies, like literally pennies that I'm paying for these. Um, this cute bowl here that's attached, another gravy dish for 50 cents. I found a comp online for this one. Um, let's take a look at that. That is the Mito, Mito China. Um, I found another comp online for that one for $32 for that. And it was the exact same dish. So, I mean, again, pennies on the dollar for these things. Um, depression glass, I believe, plate here for $3. I found the same one online for $20. Um, let's take a look at this um, serving tray here. This is a John B. Taylor. I did not find any four compartment trays with a handle online. I found some three compartment trays. The same John B. Taylor design. Um, those three compartment trays were about $30. So. If anybody has any ideas about the four compartment, let me know. Um, I was thinking if the three were $30, maybe the four would be worth $40 or $50. But I thought it was so cute. And you can look here at the bottom and see the markings there. I just thought it was absolutely adorable. Again, John B. Taylor, handmade. Um, this sunflower bowl was three dollars and i thought it was super cute it's um a sunflower bunch i'm not familiar with that name but i thought the bowl was super cute <clears throat> and i paid three dollars for it the vintage milk glass avon candy dish i found two of those for a dollar a piece um, they do say Avon on the bottom. Again, a dollar a piece. Comps online were $20 a piece. So that's $40 worth of Avon vintage candy dishes for two bucks. Oh, what else here? I found this cute glass vintage jar. And inside the jar were all of these little molds with all these little designs here. I thought that was adorable. I took them out so I could show you what was inside of there. I thought that was very cute. That was only 50 cents for those little molds inside that beautiful jar. I found an old Tequila Don Julio bottle. I thought that was beautiful. I like the color and it goes with some of the other blue glass that I have um, that I've collected over the years. These teensy tiny little pictures. There is a tag on the inside of both of them, handmade by or handmade at by B Pottery. Um, I found a blue one and the the brown one. They were fifty cents a piece. When I looked online and I looked up the Bybee Pottery name, I found that these were actually worth about $20 a piece, these little tiny pitchers. I thought they were just adorable. Teensy tiny, very cute. 
Again, 50 cents a piece, but they're worth $20 a piece. That's insane to me. Just absolutely insane. Um, I didn't really find many price comps on these candlesticks. Some of them are kind of chintzy, but some of them are more heavy duty. Um, like this one's heavy duty and it says Chile on the bottom. And then this one has a Taiwan stamp on the bottom. Heavier duty than some of the other ones. <clears throat> but I thought they were adorable and I love the gold um, candlestick holders. Those are just beautiful. I got another Depression era glass teacup and plate for a dollar. Comps on that was, I believe, $20. Um, this is just a handmade cute picture. Sarah in 1997 made that. And I just, I thought it was adorable. Um, if you have watched any of my other videos, you know I love pictures. So I couldn't pass that one up. Um, this vase, I was calling it a cherub vase until I looked it up and it's actually Napco. A Napco vase. I paid a dollar for it. And the exact same one online was $30. I thought that was just... Just insane. I'm sorry, $20. I was wrong on that. The exact one online for that Napco vase was $20. Again, another cute little picture here with a cork in it with the, the blue glass. I just absolutely love it. Um, there's a napkin holder here. I've seen other people using those napkin holders as cookbook holders. So I thought that would be pretty interesting to see if I can use that. Um, it's pretty heavy duty. If I don't use it for a cookbook holder, I'll use it for napkins, because why not? Um, some of the green glass that I've been collecting, Todd thinks I'm crazy. He thinks I'm trying to like recreate my grandma's house here or something, which I kind of am because grandma's house was pretty rad, but um, I just love the look of it. I love all everything about it. Little design there on the bottom with that. I don't know if that's a candy dish or whatever that is. The green goblet there and then the bowl um, that looks like a flower sitting on a stem. I just think it's gorgeous. Moving along because I have so many things that I want to talk about and show you guys, but I don't want this video to be like an hour long. So um, I saw these canisters here. There's a little one down there, the butter dish and the salt and pepper shakers. I saw those. And they caught my eye, but I was on my way to get something else. So I came back and they were still there, thank goodness. Um, so I looked these up and it's actually um, G-O-Z Lefton is the artist. And this is the poppy design for uh, serving wear, dinner wear, table wear, whatever you want to call it. Um, each one that I found, I think the salt and pepper shakers I found worth $20. The smaller sugar canister here I found and that was worth um, $20 again. I did not find the bigger canister and the butter dish I believe was worth $20 as well. I paid a dollar, a dollar for the butter dish, a dollar each for the canisters and 30 cents each for the beautiful salt and pepper shakers. They're just gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. I, it's strange to me because when I used to go thrifting, I would look for things that um, maybe just caught my eye that I would like. Now when I go, I'm, I'm like, it's like I'm looking through a different lens. Some of these things I would have seen before and passed them up. I would have looked at it and thought, man, that's unique and that's cool, but I just would have passed it up. Now, I have no idea where I'm gonna put it all, but I just can't, I can't help myself. I just. I don't know. I see these things and it just, I don't, I don't know if it just brings back nostalgia, whatever it is, I see them and I, I just have to have it. So I just have to find homes for everything now. I didn't find anything online about these um, salt and pepper shakers. I just thought they were adorable. Um, 
They might just be handmade, unique, JM or JW, whatever that says. Anyway, they were 50 cents a piece. I thought they were super cute. Um, I paid 50 cents for this little can, uh, canister container that I thought was adorable. And I believe $2 for the white, yes. $2 for the white shelf. I've been collecting things of this nature to redo our bedroom. And I believe I'm going to paint it a different color. So once I get the bedroom done, I'm, I'm excited to kind of go through and show you guys that too, because everything so far that I've found for the bedroom has been thrifted and I can't wait. I can't wait to get it all together. A um, couple things down here that I kind of looked over, just these cute little mirrors that I thought were unique. Those were 50 cents a piece. And then underneath here, it's almost like a trevet. Um, but it's old and I love the patina on it. Um, if I can pull it apart here, let me show you. There we go. So it pulls apart to make it bigger. I'm just not exactly sure what it is. It has um, feet on the bottom. I thought maybe it you know, hung up on the wall somewhere, but it has feet on the bottom. So I'm calling it a trevet. Um, not exactly sure. If you have any ideas, thoughts on that, let me know. I just thought it was super cool. I love the uh, the way it looks and the aging on it. What did we miss here? Oh, the um, Salem Stoneware tea kettle back there. That I found for a dollar, and it's actually worth $30. Found the exact same one online for $30. I thought that was very unique, super cool. Um, another pottery bowl here with the square blue markings on it. Didn't find anything online on that, but I love a good pottery bowl. No markings or anything on the bottom. It's just unique and cute. A little basket there. Flower garden basket. Couldn't pass that up. Um, there's also... An old milk jug here, I believe. Yeah, I paid 50 cents for the milk jug and I found the same one online for $25. I thought that was really cool with the, the cherubs on it. And then the, um, what I saw online, they said they're cast iron, but I'm not exactly sure these candlestick holders. They are heavy duty. If you don't have candles in them, they could double as a weapon if somebody's breaking into your house. <laughs> They're very heavy duty and I thought that they were very unique in the way that they looked. I found similar items or similar candlestick holders online for um, $40. I paid a dollar a piece for those. So, Man, I feel like I just flew through everything here. Um, what else? Oh, I found this unique um, picture here on the passing of the back house. James Whitcomb Riley. I read through it standing there. It just kind of touched me, touched my soul a little bit. So I thought I have to have that. I like the way it looks too. Um, also found these uh, porcelain plates for 50 cents a piece. I did try to look these up and couldn't find really anything comparable. Um, they have a hanger on the back so you can hang them up on the wall. But they were 50 cents a piece. Anybody again has any ideas on any of this stuff? Any thoughts? Um, anything that you can think of to kind of point me in the right direction on what it might be or where it came from or what it's used for? Um, please just let me know in the comments below. I forgot to talk about this beauty, um, this wooden carved uh, brandy flask, brandy decanter, wine decanter. The top comes off and there is a bottle on the inside. And then the other part, if I can get it with one hand. 
this part also comes off. There we go. But it's hand carved. I paid $2 for it. I thought it was very unique. Um, kind of funky looking. Kind of like, what the heck am I going to do with that? But um, everything that I've seen online, these things range between $30 and $70 for the carved wine or brandy decanter. I just thought it was really cool. It's just unique and different and that's basically what all of this stuff is. Unique and different. Antique, some of it. Newer, some of it. That's fine too. But I just thought, man, I couldn't pass any of it up. And by the time I got done, my cart was overloaded and the poor lady who was checking me out, we helped each other wrap everything up so I could get it out of there without breaking anything. But yeah, that's the thrift haul for today. Um, it's a lot of stuff. Again, any thoughts, comments, questions, anything, please let me know in the comments below. Um, if you want to see anything else in particular, or if there's anything that you're looking for that maybe I could look for when I'm out and about. It seems like it's hit or miss with thrift store days. Um, sometimes I walk in and I'll walk out with a handful of things, maybe one or two things. Other days it's like this and it's just absolutely amazing. So yeah, there's the haul. So we've been staying pretty busy here towards the end of the season with um, taking out the garden and keeping the farm stand stocked up as much as we can. Um, it's kind of slim pickings right now because a lot of things just have stopped growing. But we do still have tomatoes and peppers and a few pumpkins and corn stalks up in the farm stand right now. Um, transitioning into the new season has kept us pretty busy. Um, every single day it seems like there's another task, something else to do. But I wanted to take today to get out and get to the thrift store, take my time, enjoy my coffee, enjoy the people, the, the regulars that I always see, and we, we chit-chat and we talk about this and that whenever we're there. So um, it was just a good time. I spent a couple hours there today, and it was totally worth it. Um, now I just have to find where I'm going to put these things and hope that Todd is okay with it. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's just a lot of stuff and it's, I don't know, again, I think it might be the nostalgia for me. It might be, um, it just brings back something from my childhood or a core memory. I'm not quite sure, but whatever it is, um, I'm happy to share it with you guys and I'm happy to share again, um, after I get it all styled or placed or whatever I'm going to do with it, I'll share it and show you guys what I've done with it. So as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here and we'll talk to you soon.